150 million years ago, Galliopus roamed Jurassic era Montana. Galliopus was a sauropod, a large herbivorous dinosaur with four legs and a long neck and tail. Our skeleton of Galliopus was collected uh, beginning in the year 2000. It was discovered the previous year by a rancher in Montana who alerted colleagues of mine and ultimately came to my attention that this would be a great addition to our collection and uh, that we should mount an expedition to excavate the dinosaur. It took six summers to do that. We would go out to Montana with volunteers and students and each summer spend a month excavating parts of this dinosaur. It was a major engineering project. Paleontologists use a variety of tools to dig up dinosaurs, from shovels and pickaxes to hammers and chisels, brushes and dental tools. Once a bone is uncovered, just enough rock around it is chipped away to remove it from the ground. The bone and surrounding rock matrix are covered in toilet paper and then burlap soaked in plaster. We would try to remove bone by bone where possible, but since the skeleton was so well articulated, that is the bones attached one to another, it was difficult to separate them in many cases. So the last block of rock that we had to remove was the body block that contained the vertebrae and many of the ribs of the body, parts of the hips, and that weighed one and a half tons. The fossils were brought back to Cincinnati at the end of each summer's dig. Once we had it back in the laboratory at the Geyer Center, it took seven years of meticulous labor, many, many volunteers, many, many hours using air scribes and other pneumatic tools, uh, brushes, dental picks to remove the rock matrix from around the bones. Following that seven year process when the bones were largely freed from the rock and laid out on tables in the Geyer Center, it took another five years to do the final planning, uh, finished preparation, restoration of bones, and the mounting on a steel armature. For that, we contracted a group out of Toronto called Research Casting International, which is a group of professional museum exhibit craftsmen that mount dinosaur skeletons all over the world. The skeleton was shipped by truck to RCI's workshop near Toronto, Canada. After six months of work at RCI, the dinosaur was shipped back to Cincinnati, along with a new steel armature. The first time the Galliopus was mounted outside of RCI's workshop was at Rheingeist Brewery in downtown Cincinnati, as part of Cincinnati Museum Center's Curate My Community program. Cincinnati got its first look at the dinosaur during the Jurassic Geist event. After spending the summer at Rheingeist, Galliopus was once more disassembled, so it could make its final journey. 150 million years after its death, 18 years since its discovery, and nearly 3,000 miles later, Galliopus arrived at Cincinnati Museum Center's Dinosaur Hall. And ultimately, 18 years later, <laughs> from discovery to uh, installation in Museum Center.